With the helpers and IK goals in place, you can now establish hierarchical links between them. Start by selecting both the ball IK and the heel IK goals and link them to the heel peel helper, the smaller of the center helpers. This way, when you eventually rotate that helper, you get, as its name implies, a heel peel effect on the foot. Next, select the toe tip IK goal and link it to the larger center helper named toe tap. This way, when you rotate that helper, you get a toe tap effect, again, as the helper's name implies. Now select both ball helpers and link them to the toe tip helper. This will help create a general toe lift when you need it. You can also use this technique to get an effect like a foot squashing a cigarette. However, you need to make a small adjustment for this to work well, otherwise you will encounter an unwanted foot twist. This may be easier to see in shaded mode, F3, and from the side. Select the ball IK goal and go to the motion panel. Set its parent space to IK goal and try again. This works much better. Finally, link the toe tip helper to the heel helper. This gives you flexibility as you can still rotate around the toe tip, but also around the heel when you need to. At this point, the foot is rigged, but it wouldn't be fair to hand it over to the animator just yet. An animator shouldn't have to hunt for helpers in the scene, especially not when they're made harder to see because of the character's geometry. You need to make the animator's job easier by adding some custom attributes. These custom attributes are meant to drive the IK goals and helpers you set up a moment ago. You also need to create a master controller for the left foot, one the animator can select to drive the leg IK solution, but also to easily access all these custom attributes. The master controller can be any type of object, but is typically a simple shape. Temporarily unhide the geometry to use it as reference. Draw a line around the left foot. Keep it simple with no curves. Adjust it and enable it in the viewport and set its side to a low value such as 4. When you're happy with the shape, hide the geometry again and relocate the shape's pivot point to the heel joint in position only. Rename it Zombie Left Foot Controller. Link the heel helper to the foot controller. This way, you can easily manipulate the foot and the leg using this master controller. You are now ready to tackle custom attributes, but before you get to that, select all four helpers and foot controller shape. Press ALT and right click and freeze all transforms on these five objects. This is always important for animation and wiring. 
It freezes the current positions and orientations. So you can come back to them if you need to. In the next movie, you create custom attributes to help you control the foot.